Nemesis. Log number two, dash 22. At work, I announced that I have to take some time off to take care of family affairs, hoping I would still have a job to come back to when all this is over. Bulk and Calypso and I have a meeting at her hotel suite. I don't get to discuss much with Calypso. Just barely ask her how she's doing before the mystery man shows up. Finally, I get to have a better look at him. Now that we are practically face to face, or whatever you would call a mug of his, he seems to look young, despite that his skin has clearly been through a lot. His facial features make me believe that he could have been a cute young boy that was mutilated by fire or explosion. Short white hair with a missing patch on his left side, above the half-absent maimed ear, covered in reddish scars instead, stretching all the way to his left eye, and only one eyebrow to show on the other side. White as well. There's a different aura about him, dreadful, unfriendly, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Even though he doesn't look big, he seems dangerous, like a lean predator. Something's up with this guy, and I can't quite put my finger on it. The first thing he announces is that we can cut it out with this Vulcan stuff. He reveals his name is Reese Caliber, and he should be only addressed by that name. Vulcan is just a mere moniker he uses for gambling, a word for the underworld to know him by. What a psycho, what other surprises is he hiding up his sleeve? This new name, whether legit or not, seems to fit him better. Reese is brief and direct, does not mince his words nor adds any extras, doesn't sugarcoat his speech. He mechanically goes over the plan and says, although we've technically robbed him, he already took it all back from Calypso, but he wants to be relatively fair and from whatever we take from the guildmaster, her and I get 15% cut each, which doesn't sound too bad considering the other alternative could be him taking the whole pot and trying to kill us as a cherry on top. We agree on the details, he leaves. Soon as Reese is out of the picture, Calypso says how much he's missed me and so glad that I decided to help. I try to play it off cool, I can't act like those words don't strike a chord and make me feel good. Next thing you know, the clothes are being removed as she climbs on top of me, up and down, round and round. She rides it like she owes me and I'm loving every second of it, skin to skin, her hips on mine. Nemesis. Nemesis.